Another tool you can use to help with altitude planning is the Terrain Profile view. Tap the Profile button at the bottom of the Route Editor and you'll see your planned route depicted at the selected altitude in relation to obstacles and terrain. Green shading indicates you will clear the terrain or obstacles by more than 1,000 feet. Yellow indicates terrain that will pass within 100 to 1,000 feet of the selected altitude. And last, red shading is a warning that the terrain will be less than 100 feet from your selected altitude or above you. The same color shading is used for obstacles, which are depicted here as vertical lines. Simply tap and hold the altitude box and slide it up or down to experiment with different altitudes. You can tap the route line to see both the MSL height of the terrain and the vertical clearance from your proposed altitude. When the terrain profile view is active, the ruler can also be used to review terrain clearances. After activating the ruler on the map, you'll see that the profile view temporarily shows the course along the length of the ruler. Combined with the fact that you can quickly adjust the altitude in the profile view, this provides another quick method to help with rough altitude planning. The terrain profile view can be used in flight right alongside Hazard Advisor to give additional information from an alternate perspective. You'll see the option to select one of two range modes when in the air, labeled Aircraft and Route. Aircraft shows a short range view of 50 miles ahead of your flight, while Route will display the profile of your entire route. Basic stats are displayed at the top of the window, including the highest feature along the route, the clearance between your current altitude and the highest feature, and the distance and time until your current altitude would cause a conflict with this obstruction. Remember, ForeFlight is using GPS-derived altitude to determine this information, which can often vary from your actual altitude by a few hundred feet or more.